Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Age of Imperials of Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover, and right now, after I've calmed down from the last video, um, I've gone ahead and basically replayed everything here um, from the last episode, basically. And actually, surprisingly, the UK got demolished by the German Empire. They went nuts, apparently, against the UK, which was kind of kind of crazy. I like, wait, wait. I was just b busy taking out all the things in the Pacific, the Caribbean here, and which we did relatively okay. And which we're, I'm still island hopping over here, which I'll probably do a little bit more off screen, just because it's getting a little annoying, and, well, I still have a big old sh fl fleet here. The British do, but whatever. I'll still do that off screen a little bit more. We gotta talk about this in a little bit, but yeah. I was surprised that the UK actually capitulated because the Germans just went nuts. And, yeah. Also, we don't have Spain anymore. They joined the Reichspact this time. I thought they joined, I thought they joined the Russian faction, but whatever. So we don't have them, and honestly, uh, the United Nations looking pretty good. Pretty awesome down here, too, but regardless. Radicals on the radio. Although the information concerning ecumenic ways of Huey Long as governor of Louisiana was ignored by the Democrats in order to hide his pro-Catholic alignment, it's difficult not to notice that he's gained considerable support from the representatives of the Catholic Church, who see his victory as a chance to normalize the situation of Catholics in the U.S. No more importantly, however, some people in the Catholic community, such as Father Charles Coughlin, appears to be undertaking wide-ranging propaganda activities using the radio to undermine the authority of the American government and to be able to spread outright hate propaganda against internal enemies against whom Americans would unite by voting for Long. The limits of freedom... Uh, freedom of speech is our virtue. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, I mean, this seems a little bugged. Zero and three forty-eight. What do you do with that one? So nothing happens, but I'm going to continue working on destroying uh, the Japanese fleet. And a little bit, but here, before we do that, here are the couch. We lost 107,000. Uh, the Rajas lost a lot of dudes. Like, look at that. That's, that's kind of nuts. How many did they lose to the Germans? Less than half a million. That's kind of nuts. And we cut off 350,000 uh, Japanese, but we'll see what happens in just a little bit. Long, the king without a crown, undoubtedly the elections in 36 were full of emotions, and the candidacy, as of controversial to many figures was as Long, was a cause of very heated disputes. Despite this, he managed to win his election, campaign against Herbert Hoover, and soon, a new period of reforming U.S. history will begin, during which it may be possible to heal the wounds resulting from the various crises experienced. All hail the chief! Which, look how happy he is. He's so happy, every man a king. The kingfish. So, we'll do this one next, and we'll just keep going on with uh, the naval invasion. So far, they've been doing, actually, since the fade and fade out, they've been going pretty okay. Huey Long is undoubtedly a man of his time, who, when he was a governor of Louisiana, showed that he was ready to make great sacrifices for the common good assistance, even if he ultimately exceeded the permanent, permitted limits of his activities. Now that he's become president, great numbers of people expect far-reaching action on his part. Nice. And now we become integralist, national populist, the gold, the bronze-ish Democrats. Oh, Southern Ring. Also, we just basically split all the parties apart. But right now, we're invading down here. Um, and near Bismarck, we're invading a lot of the islands. We're poised to invade over there as well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure where the Japanese ships are at, honestly. Uh, let's take a look here. Another million map, but they got plenty of fuel. Uh, a lot of division still. Uh, stockpile. What's stockpile like? Uh, not good on artillery. Not good at all. Not good on guns. They have, like, nothing. Okay. I'm okay with that. No wonder they're losing up in here in China. And they got 125 ships left, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, there's a combo. That's not good. Not good. So, overall, not bad. Especially with their guys pushing down here. They can all fill out there. And I just want to make sure that we can invade up here. Because if we can invade over there, that'd be great. What are you guys up to? Also, like, we did lose quite a few ships earlier. Sino German Friendship Treaty, huh? Uh, no, excuse me. Can you come over here, too? Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Iwo Jima is where you want to be. There you go. Or not. Or they'll just move around whenever they feel like it, and we have normal infantry moving in. Okay, whatever then. Uh, Because we're here, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of enemy ships, even though they do have, like, as you saw, 200-ish. Uh, enemy set to fire. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Do this just in case. Logistics 2 would be nice. We do some fighters as well. Oh, well, I guess we're going now. Just in case, because they do have... Oh, some convoys around here, huh? Is that a radar, radar network? Not bad. Oh, and now they're going to war with the Germans, it looks like. Alright, whatever. But let's, let's do this whole Huey Long thing. I want to see what this is. Every man a king. Every man a king. Relations with the Catholic Church. During the election campaign, the ecumenical ways of Huey Long, which he indulged in Louisiana, were well hidden from the majority of voters who happen to be Protestant. But now that Long is the President of the United States, he decided to take far-reaching action to end the hatred between the U.S. and the Holy See. But what if the Holy See deserves it? That's my question. 
hope we make it over there. And do okay, at least. One of the comments was, isn't Norfolk actually the main shipping yard and shipyard in, on the Atlantic side? I thought it was, too. But maybe not in this timeline. Eh, there's only three up there. And there's how many down here? Four? So technically, yeah, four, but, yeah, we'll see. Army Departmento. Can we actually invade? Yeah, we did. Nice. Nice. Go ahead and spread on out. We're doing relatively okay-ish here. Not great. Somewhat, but... God dang Australians. Can't have anything nice. Ooh, something Australian ships too. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, then again, like, if it's just planes that we're losing, get some convoys. That's fine-ish. Why don't you guys go back and do this? Sink them. Oh, the Chinese arrived. Okay, cool. Nice. Just after Taipei. Invade right there. Nice. That's a really good naval port too. Yeah. These guys really want that part of China back. Fixing the imperfections of capitalism. Although the circle of people around Long seem to be radical, the president himself expresses his will not to violate the order established by Hoover, which seems to be working. What the president cares about the most is to rectify the situation where his port has already actually failed. Political power, monthly population, stability, war support. Widespread charity, more political power, more population, and more stability. Not bad. Oh boy. And now our ships are really going. I was losing quite a few planes. Oh, they reinvaded here. Are you kidding me? God dang it. Sink every last convoy you find. My goodness, they take so long to repair over here. Three, wow. Go from here and invade this area again. God dang it. Then again, once, it, once these ships are all out here, we can hopefully just destroy them all relatively quickly and easily, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. Look at that. Nice. You still cannot just barge out of here, which sucks. Um, let me get rid of that line. Just hold. Hold reliables. Don't you come up here. So help hold the port. I want you over here. Help hold the port as well. I want you over here. Help hold the port. That's all I care about. Hold on the ports. Go in when you can. Come on, come on. Where's our surface fleet? Still raiding? Is that all you're doing? Ah, we need you actually up here too. There we go. Now we can actually find the enemy ships and really destroy them. We're finding a lot of convoys, as you can tell. Lots and lots of convoys. Oh, we actually need to Nice, great. Good job, guys. From here, we try to invade Nagasaki, maybe. We'll see what happens. Any other planes, anything like that? Naval bombers? Yeah, definitely get some naval bombers here. Down two. Thank you. Armored department. Economy. Nice. Military police. Sausages rolling. Roll, 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 roll them sausage boys. Going on here. Nice. New public works program. Many people, despite the initial improvement in the market situation, are still unemployed and unable to make, take up actual activity on the labor market. So the end is to carry out a wide-ranging program of public works, which will allow us to make the best possible use of human resources at its disposal. Oh boy. Were we disengaging there? What was going on here? A lot of, uh, puppet Chinese ships. Two subs, nice, nice, nice. Keep sinking everything they got. Convoys and the like. We lost a sub, but whatever. Looks like I thought we did. More convoys. Nice, 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 nice. Where are they at? Deliver almost half a million casualties. Not bad, not bad. Keep going. Go ahead whenever you can. More convoys, more convoys, more con- Oh, wait, oh, hello. Oh, good luck. Probably gonna need it. Down here, as long as they haven't really navally invaded us, that's fine. 
Oh, look at that. It's another part of the fleet, too. I don't know who are those in the Philippines. Wait. Uh, they're not free, huh? All right, then. If we can win, that'd be phenomenal. There we go. All right, so one, two, three, four. And go up there, do that. And go in if you can. I guess we'll try to send the tanks over, but they're pretty far away. So we'll see what happens with them. Yeah, we'll try to send infantry in. Oh, no. I don't think the Japanese have a lot here to offer, so. See public works, why not? And. I'm checking those policies. What is this? Yeah, that's not bad. Huh. Let's go ahead and three market. Atomic research is very good. Get some more uh, radar. And then we're going to do uh, efforts for the good of society. The U.S. remains a relatively fragmented nation with citizens of different states feeling little need to cooperate with citizens of other states. In cases of racism and xenophobia, still seem to be present. It's necessary to take steps to reconcile the American people as best we can, of course. Ah, we're loving interventions, don't we? Nice. Shock and all. We're done with our land auction now. Keep going in, boys. Seriously, where's the, where's the Japanese army? They have 110 divisions still. Where is the Japanese army? No, I, don't, I, I really don't want to see it, but whatever. You know what I mean. Guys, can you just go here? Come on. What are you doing? Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Actually, we can invade up there, too. Ooh. Well, that's a case. Nice, nice, nice. Process of liberalization, very nice. Oh, you guys go for two. See what y'all can do. They should, honestly should not be getting any sort of convoys whatsoever just because we should be sinking them a whole bunch, should we not? Force it. There goes Duchy of Luxembourg. Wait, what? Whoa! French Republic's back. Of course, then again, they were fighting the Russians the entire time, so. Yeah, that's not our problem. That's definitely not our problem. I'm still the Switzerland or Swiss with us too, so. Black Brain Trust. Black US citizens still struggle with statutory racism and segregation in public spaces. It's imperative to establish an advisory body to the President of the US, which has shown the path of needed reforms. Nice. Anything else here? I mean, we could always use more planes, probably. Get some more wildcats, I suppose. Get some more of that. Get some more of this. Get some more of that. That'd be nice. Convoy sunk. Very, very good. Oh, hello. How can they keep coming back? These Marines are not that bad. Okay, they're not that great, but still. Guys, my god, just go in. Just go in. No wonder you guys aren't moving. You're stuck over there. Darn it. There you go. There you go. And... I guess all of you guys now... Do this. Come over here. No, there's some divisions right there. Now the goals, no matter how badly our ships get hurt, completely sink and destroy all convoys going into Japan. Newland School explosion? Alright, that's not good for them, but whatever. Not our problem, though, is it? Ooh, we lost five subs, that sucks. Strength of the middle class. The middle class of the U.S. population is the backbone of our economy and social life. As long as it remains only responsive and influential, will it be possible to maintain internal stability in a country? Move your butts. There goes Sweden. It's very surprised we've not been shot down yet. Very, very surprised. Marines. Keep them surrounded.
No fuel to get in. No fuel to leave either. Uh, they're at less than a million, which is nuts. They're still going up though, so we'll see. Nice. I just don't understand where the fleet is at. I don't understand the AI sometimes, man. I really don't. Hello, when did you guys get here? Well, these guys are doing pretty well, honestly. Pretty darn well. Any upgrades for admirals, maybe? No. King? No, really disappointed that he hasn't got anything upgraded. How about you guys? Smoke screen? I mean, just in case, maybe. No, nothing there either. Quite peculiar, I'll say. Strength and middle class followed up with cooperation with Walt Disney. There's no better thing than connecting citizens than pop culture by signing contracts with Walt Disney Company. It'd be possible to carry a real propaganda campaign aimed at propelling all American values that will make our citizens wear why it's worth fighting for a country. Nice. Just use propaganda. Shan Yang, Shan Yang. Oh, now we found him. Oh, we lost heavy cruiser for exchange for a battleship. That's not bad. Got an equal exchange ish. More planes, planes, stuff like that, just in case. We need naval bombers. Cool. Every cloud, all right. Two more of those guys go bye, 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 bye. Well, we found a few more divisions here. Not a lot more, but a few more. We're moving through Korea as well, which is pretty nice. Um, there you go. Try that. Try that. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're gonna win the war anyway, since Japan just never guards its islands, apparently. Not bad, not bad. I mean, Germany is slowly losing on the two-front war, so... They have a lot of manpower, though. And again, so does everyone else. They don't have that much manpower in the field compared to the Germans. The Germans have quite a bit, but they have two-front war. Oh, I'll work with Disney. And what else are we going to do here? Freedom Fortress. The U.S. is undoubtedly the greatest country in the world, but unfortunately this prosperity seems to hinder our rivals. We may go to some truly reckless actions in the near future. It's imperative that we prepare for this so we build a stronghold of democracy. Cool. How much more do we have to go? Oh, they're almost done. Anyways. How many men have we lost? Uh, 200,000 is not too bad. There you go. That's looking better already. Ah. And now we should have them. There we go. Not bad. So, <clears throat> let's divide this up more, or, or, appropriately, shall we say. I'm going to give all the Europeans stuff to Germany. I mean, it just makes sense for them to own it. So, you guys take the UK. Le Portuguese a Republic. Uh, Germany will get British Mashriq, Daniel Breik. Do a couple more passes. Um, you guys will get uh, Hungary, Norway, Greece. Um, you can have South Africa too, you might as well. Croatia. Where's China in this list? Because I'll give them a lot of stuff too, because they deserve it. Republic of China. Nepal. Qing China. They can have that. 
Um, I'll take Australia. So I'll take Canada. Japan itself. You guys. For funsies, we're going to take Arabia. Uh, China gets, Republic of China gets Tibet. And the Raj. Ooh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of states. My apologies, it just takes forever for this buff. There we go. And we'll take, uh, not the Czech Kingdom, where is Germany? You can have late Czech people. And for funsies, we'll take Israel. And Egypt, because why not? Much better, my friends, much better. America should own Israel, and Israel should own America. Cool. Beautiful. I love this part of the Middle East. It looks absolutely beautiful. China do be looking kind of thick, though. I like this Chinese look. I forgot Siam existed, too. Whoops. Oh, well. Destroyers, convoys, convoys, convoys. Yeah, overall, not too bad. A lot better than the last episode. My apologies for the last episode. I just was probably tired, li literally tired and, hang and angry and just... Because I was hungry, probably. Huh. But, cooperating with Walt Disney, and then Freedom Fortress, we'll do that one, and the Manhattan Project. And the towns in which we live may require us, uh, require from us exceptional means and methods. The end is that we should get interested in them in advance. So we can keep going to war with other people, but at this point, let's just use cons commands, see what this is, because the game is pretty laggy, so. Freedom Fortress, Manhattan Project, we're going to power the world. So that ends that part of the focus tree. Um, if you're wondering about these, please go right ahead. We got that one, this one too. Logistics network between the Philippine Islands remains unsatisfactory. Tax cuts for the tourism industry. Tax cuts for local entrepreneurs. And the amount of seafarers visiting local entertainment venues will surely strengthen Hawaii's economic situation. Expanding the dockyard network. The Hawaiian shipbuilding base needs to be ready to provide needed repairs for ships so they don't have to return to California with only slight damage received. Philippine airports. Airports in the Philippines can be extremely useful for the development of our aviation capabilities. Let ya gulf maneuvers. Sea maneuvers in the Philippines seem to be a good idea for showing the local population our strength and convince them that working with us is the best possible option. Philippine shipbuilding base. Our ships will be surely much more efficient in the Far East if they don't have to go to the dry docks all the way to California. Warplan Purple. Warplan Purple is, a, is about a country regaining strategic control in the South American area, which was largely lost to the diplomatic defeats of the early 20th century. Warplan Gray. The Warplan Gray is about giving us full control of the Caribbean and Central American area of areas of operations. Only when we secure our soft underbelly, it will be possible to calmly plan further operations. Warplan Yellow. Or playing yellow concerns our influence in the Far East and the necessity to liquidate the rival influence of imperial states. It's time to end the British expansion. <clears throat> the British Empire, in recent decades, has lost its chance to forge friendly relations with us or even alliance. It's time to show tea, at the tea addicts their place. And then we have it's time to end Russian expansionism. The Russian Empire seems to be overwhelmingly interested in expanding its influence over Latin America and Asia, which testifies to their hostile intentions towards us in the distant future. A preventative blow is a good measure to prevent an unfortunate turn of events. <clears throat> Fortification of Panama. Panama surrounds its country with the most important ocean canal in the world, and we must make sure that they have the means to defend it effectively. Facilitations for Cuban industry. Cuba must start having more of its own industry. Cuban military bases. Military bases in Cuba, which our army also has its disposal, must be expanded. Cuban arsenal. The Cuban arsenal must be expanded and modernized. Only then will their soldiers have the resources needed to dominate the enemy on the battlefield. Strengthening the ties, our economic treaties, uh, our economy, <clears throat> treats the Chinese Republic as a great outlet. But it's necessary to ensure that the Chinese do not lose out on this and that they do not get discouraged by it. A streak of investment uh, uh, should help us improve our relations. A new military mission in China. <clears throat> the Chinese army, although large, remains poorly trained to a shortage of its own resources. Sending them a military mission to keep, help them with the theoretical issues seems like a good idea. Basis for Flying Tigers. Flying Tigers is the name of a group of volunteer pilots who have expressed a desire to fly in the Chinese Air Force. Their activities drew our attention to the problems of China's air infrastructure, which is absolutely too low to allow their aircraft to effectively engage in combat with the enemy or even defend their own airspace. Signing lend to China. Further support for Chinese industry is necessary in order to create an appropriate supply, supply base for the Chinese army. Republican Alliance. Our investments that we have carried out over the months have led to a significant strengthening of the position of the Republic of China in the region. But more importantly, these activities also strengthen our influence in the Far East, which will undoubtedly bring us more numerous benefits. Well, it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. And I think I read this one yesterday, so if you want to read these again, please go ahead. I forgot to get to these ones because I was doing some other focuses, I think. So, oh well. But yeah. Even though this video is quite a bit shorter than my normal uh, videos, uh, there's not much else here we can do. A word of peace, and I don't really want to go to war with Russia, just because that's going to be a massive fight, and I don't want to have a huge, huge, disgusting fight on my hands like Germany's doing, dealing with right now. So, uh, does USA have a unique focus tree? I don't think they do, yeah. But regardless, I think we're going to end it here. If you enjoy the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, how many couches? Well, 3.61 million versus 1.5. That's not bad. That's really bad, Germany. That's terrible. Regardless, thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.